Hi everyone, it's Crookpad. Tell me, what do these colors together remind you of? If you said Halloween, then good for you, because that's what they remind me of. Halloween is one of my most favorite holidays of the year, because you get to dress up in fun and silly costumes and eat junk food. What could be better? Of course, the scary part of Halloween is also great, but it's not so great when it's too scary for me. I am 19 years old right now, which means I'm supposed to be an adult, and I think most adults on Halloween like to pull pranks on other people or watch horror movies. But I'm still kind of a kid on the inside, so I'm not mean enough to pull pranks, and I'd much rather go trick-or-treating. And as for watching really scary movies, that's definitely not for me. Don't get me wrong, I do like things to be a little scary on Halloween, but I like the classic kooky and spooky approach, not DEATH, MURDER, AND CONSTANT FEAR. I just don't see how horror is entertainment. Well, actually I do see it, because it gives you an adrenaline rush and some people like that, but that's not how it works for me. I hate being on the edge wondering when something terrible is going to happen. Watching a horrifying movie for one night is not worth nightmares for several nights after. I like to watch things that are a more low-key scary like Scooby-Doo, Harry Potter, or Hotel Transylvania. When Five Nights at Freddy's started trending in late 2014, I saw links to videos for it on YouTube, but I knew it was some horror game, so I just ignored it for a while. Eventually, my curiosity got to me and I clicked on a video. Now, some people say that FNAF is not that scary or even not scary at all, but as soon as I heard the eerie electronic buzzing noise in the office, I was like, nope, moving on. I also recall one time as a kid while trick-or-treating, there was a house that I refused to go up to because the decorations on the front porch looked too scary. I was afraid that someone in a creepy Grim Reaper costume would be hiding among them to jump scare people. And you know those animatronic Halloween decorations that activate when you walk in front of them? I would not walk by one of those without someone carrying me so I could hide my face in their shoulder and cover my ears. Even then, I would cringe a little bit when I could hear them as we went by. I simply don't like being scared. I'm like Arlo from The Good Dinosaur. The part where Spot jumps out at him when he was caught in the net, I was as startled and terrified as Arlo was. I literally jumped in my seat in the theater, and my brother looked at me like, Seriously, bro? So yeah, I'm a real scaredy cat. But you know what? I am not ashamed of it. I'm a wimp and I'm proud of it. Though I can't really explain why. So what do you think? Are you an anti-horror, pro kooky and spooky person like me? Or are you the exact opposite and aren't scared of anything? Tell me down in the comments. Also tell me what you're going to be dressing up as for Halloween. I'm going as Captain Sparkles. Maybe next year I'll dress up as a classic Halloween monster of some kind. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. We're trying to reach 100 subscribers, so you can help out with that goal. All it takes is a click. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!